Okay, so in today's video, we're gonna talk about two things, how to get good quality photos inside of a honky tonk. We're here in Music City, USA, and uh, there's a lot of great music inside of these little honky tonks on Broadway and uh, Second Avenue. Um, one of the challenges is these, are, these venues are small, they're old, they're meant to have good music, but the lighting isn't really very good. So uh, one of the things we're gonna to do today is we're gonna do some test shots to see um, what are the highest ISO that we can make on a particular camera. That's really important because you need to know before you go out and shoot what you can push the limits of your camera to. So newer cameras, you can shoot 8,000 to 10,000 ISO pretty easily. The camera I'm gonna be using today is 10 years old. It's a full frame um, Nikon D700, um, and it's not quite as good in, a, in low light. So we're gonna do some test shots and see, um, and see what happens. Again, that the goal is to get high quality photos inside a honky tonk, which are generally dimly lit. Um, these are generally older facilities. Um, the lighting is generally bucket lights um, and they have put gels on the bucket lights. So one of the challenges is that they use different color filters, which decrease the intensity of light, um, depending on the filter you're using. The red knocks the light down even more. Um, so I put the red on the highest power RE light that we have here today in the demo, um, which is twice as bright as the other two to try to replicate, but also try to balance the light out. Um, what you'll see here is I've done a meter reading with all three lights and all three are different. So the blue light is giving me a exposure of F 2.8 at 800 ISO at 1 25th of a second. The yellow is giving me an exposure of um, F28 ISO 800 at a 60th of a second. And the red, as I explained, is a stronger powered light, but the filter is also thicker, but it's giving us a exposure of F28 at 250th of a second at ISO 800. So the problem is, is we have a setup here where we have three chairs, which, which might replicate musicians and all three have a different exposure. Um, the red is um, 250th, yellow is a 60th, and um, the blue is 125th. So what we have here is we have basically between the red and the, the yellow, we have two stops difference, which is gonna be hard to handle with a modern DSLR on mirrorless camera. So at ISO 800, which you'll notice is uh, the quality's pretty good. Uh, the reds are blocking up, which is what we see, but even a detail shot, it looks pretty good. Uh, 1600 will give us a shutter speed of um, 250th of a second, so more shutter speed, but the quality is starting to suffer a little bit. Uh, when we switch to 3200 ISO, uh, it looks okay from here, but when we get closer, um, then the grain really and noise really pick up. Um, this is probably acceptable, but I wouldn't go beyond that. Uh, 6400, uh, wow, we are getting a lot of grain there. The detail shot, you can see tons of noise. So finally, um, here's a couple examples of uh, photos I've taken, taken in Robert's Western where they have this weird lighting, taken at 3200 ISO, and they turned out pretty good.